Hi, Dr. Kristen here. Today we're continuing our baby ergonomics series with part two, the breastfeeding mistake most mamas make. And I have my six month old son William here to help us out. So there's something that I've noticed in the time that I've spent nursing three children. And it's not something that moms do all of the time, but something that most moms do some of the time. And it happens more often when they're nursing in public. I'll explain why. When nursing in public, most women are wearing some sort of cover-up. And to get the baby latched on underneath that cover-up can be quite cumbersome. And if the baby continues to pull off and you have to keep relatching on, it can be even more difficult. So what happens is the mom ends up spending a lot of time supporting the baby's upper spine, but there's no time spent supporting the baby's lower spine. And pretty soon we start to see their legs come off this way. And it creates a lot of torque in the baby's spine. The problem is, especially when they're left in this position for uh, 20 minutes or so throughout the nursing session. And so what we want to do is just make sure we come in here with the hand and bring the hips back this way into alignment. And then just keep a supportive hand there throughout the nursing session. That will minimize the torque in the baby's spine, which will keep them more comfortable and also prevent spinal misalignment and tight muscles from happening. So that's it. It's something that's pretty simple but often overlooked. You can join us next time where we'll talk about baby slings and carriers and what to look for. Our question will be to hang or to hug. Thanks for watching.